John Henry Pruitt grew up in Phoenix, and in 1917, at the age of 20, he enlisted in the United States Marine Corps. After completing training at Paris Island, he was promoted to corporal, designated a Marine Scout Sniper, and shipped to the trenches of France. In June 1918, the Marines of the 6th Regiment battled the Germans in fierce fighting at Belleau Wood. This would be Marine Corporal John Henry Pruitt's baptism of fire and his first taste of war. Always moving forward, the Marines advanced on the entrenched German machine gun positions in successive attacks. Often fighting hand to hand and with bayonets, they fought day and night without relief, sleep, or a hot meal. Two weeks later, Corporal Pruitt and the 6th Marine Regiment would be tested again at the Battle of Chateau Thierry. The Marines, under non-stop artillery and mortar fire, came under a heavy gas attack. They donned gas masks and went over the top. The rubber gas masks caused the Marines to sweat profusely, foam at the mouth, and turn the whites of their eyes bloody red. The legend goes that when the Marines topped the trenches, they killed everything in their path. German troops, seeing the blood-red eyes of the Marines coming out of a thick cloud of gas, began to panic. They started yelling that dogs from hell were attacking them. During the battle, Pruitt's gas mask was pulled off in the vicious hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Overcome by gas, he was evacuated to the rear for treatment. The Marines, after a month-long bloody battle, would emerge victorious against the finest German troops the Kaiser could muster. Pruitt recovered and returned to the Devil Dogs in mid-September for what would be his last battle. At the Battle of Blancmont Ridge, Pruitt would single-handedly take out two German machine guns, killing two soldiers and capturing 40. His courageous actions that day saved countless lives. Before the next attack, Pruitt's commanding officer pulled him from the trenches, assigning him to sniper detail. It was to be a fateful decision. During the ensuing battle, Corporal Pruitt was seriously injured by enemy mortar fire. He died of his wounds on October 4, 1918. It was his 22nd birthday. For his brave and heroic actions, Marine Corporal John Henry Pruitt was posthumously awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor from both the Army and the Navy, sacrificing his life for his country and his fellow Marines. President Roosevelt signs I've always appreciated the American Legion. My gratitude to the American Thank Legion. Thank you all of the American Legion. We have millions of veterans that are members of our organization. Thank you. The American Legion, celebrating a legacy of service to America. Find out more at legion.org.